I was doing uh, research in an institute uh, which was about environmental uh, related researches. Uh, so uh, I was working in hydroponics and also in uh, research related to birds and mammals of Ladakh. So in hydroponics, uh, I got interest at that time uh, about how this uh, alternative way of uh, you know farming happens and how without the use of soil we can cultivate our vegetables crops. My name is Rixen and I'm from Leh. Uh, historically, there were very few crops were available in Ladakh. For example, like potatoes, uh, radishes, people used to grow cabbages and uh, and they used to store it in, for winter consumption. So there were only few vegetables were available at that time. Today we can grow even uh, okra vegetable. Today we can grow uh, different types of brinjals. We grow uh, tomatoes, we grow cherry tomatoes also. So these are types of crops that have been lately been introduced in Ladakh. There is a demand of different varieties of crops uh, from restaurants and from hotels. People are indulging in different types of uh, you know cuisines. And because of that, people are uh, getting aware that yeah that this types of uh, vegetables or crops or herbs can be grown in Ladakh because there is a demand. I would say that hydroponics is a very uh, simple method of growing your vegetables submerged in a nutrient rich water through that and the water gets circulated so there is no uh, continuous use uh, you know uh, giving of water in the system. Uh, I've used this uh, pipe uh, because it can be easily uh, available in the market. And first, uh, first of all, it's a PVC pipe and in easily available in the market. And uh, vegetables can be easily grown in this through circulation system. And through circulation, I circulate the water, nutrient solution in the in this system. And and the her and the her herbs like peppermint can be easily grown in NFT system. This is also called NFT, nutrient film technique. Due to limited soil and limited uh, nutrient rich soil, uh, it is very beneficial for Ladakh and uh, moreover it's very water efficient. It does not require a lot of water like uh, it used to be in uh, soil based farming where a lot of flooding system happened earlier. But in uh, nutrient sol in uh, hydroponic solution, you, uh, you re recirculate and reuse the water, nutrient rich water. Uh, this pot are perforated. The, this is because the water, the nutrient solution which are pro, which we are providing in these pipes can be easily available to the uh, roots of the plant. That's why it is uh, netted. And that's why it is called as net pot. If you want to uh, grow your own food at your, for your self consumption, then it's a very simple uh, method. You can get the system which is available in the market, and then you can simply get the nutrient solution also from the online uh, platform, and then you can add the you can develop the nutrient solution according to the required amount of the plants. These are the few parsley seedlings which are which will be ready for a few days uh, for transplantation and this one is quite bigger than the, these so uh, I think I will show you one. First of all uh, we can dig up the this is uh, the coco peat basically which I used for uh, you know growing plants. I don't use soil I everything is everything which I've grown here is completely soilless so I've grown this in uh, this coco peat. Uh, this is uh, made up from uh, coconut husk and it is crushed and it is used as a soil. After washing, we can transplant it in a net pot. Here you can see a hole. It may, you know, get, root may get damaged. So we have to be very cautious uh, while doing it. Since it's very, you know, it's very young, this is a uh, hydrostone which we used it for which will provide support to the small plant which can be later on transplanted and after this we can easily transplant in one of the holes. In my system, I am growing uh, leafy, vegetab leafy vegetables and some herbs uh, which are not available here, uh, such as parsley, celery, and I've grown kale also. And these are the things that I've uh, introduced in my system. I would like to target those crops or those herbs which are not available here and, and also of high value. And moreover, it also serves my uh, 
sister's business in her bakery so that's why i chose these herbs and you can grow other vegetables uh, for example spinach and uh, you can grow mungol which is a local available crop you can grow lettuce very easily it's been uh, six months that i've uh, replicated the same thing from my institute to my home so it's just a six months old setup it's a very good experience for me and because i've learned a lot about how to develop my own a uh, hydroponic system now to develop my own you know uh, deep water culture and nft system and i've learned how nutrient solution could be can be uh, you know uh, optimized according to me and how, which uh, nutrient solution is good for which crops uh, so i've learned quite a lot from my experience the roots can be easily uh, can be seen in hydroponics but in uh, soil based we have to dig the you know soil and we, ha- we have to and that will destroy the plants or crops whatever you are growing but here we can easily see we can easily inspect the roots whether it has not uh, the whether the roots are healthy or not whether there is root rot or not or the plants are healthy or not so in hydroponics we can easily uh, observe the roots also because this is directly submerged in uh, nutrient solution it has uh, various advantages of adopting adopting this hydroponic system uh, first of all it's easy to grow and you don't you don't you don't have to have big you know space it it requires small space and water efficiency uh, you don't need to uh, have a lot of water uh, limited water will uh, do and you can grow high value crops in limited small space if you want to commercially grow it then it's also very uh, beneficial for the society also because you are providing the food you are providing the vegetables at very low low cost from ladakh itself you don't have to depend on the food import from happening from other parts of india I know.